Yeah, the phone had just cut off like 20 seconds ago. So hopefully I got enough time because I temporarily erased a couple of things on here. But anyway, like I say, uh, Al Aliyah Al Hadrami had made it there to Al Hasa. Well, to the Fort Juwatha. And he fought against the people there and he defeated them. But he was also along with uh, Al Jurad Mu'ala. Remember, he was the head of the Banu Quais tribe. So he linked up with him as well. He was a part of their forces. But they defeated the people there and they killed Al Hutim. And Al Mudher Ibn An Numan escaped. That's when he went to another town. I like to say town, even though these towns are full of different forts. I'm going to just say town. He went to another town, Al Katif. So he went there and um, by this point, um, Al Aliyah Al Hadrami had already asked for assistance i guess he sent some type of messenger and so al bukhari not al bukhari but uh caliph abu bukhari sent khalid ibn al walid from naj remember he was in uh Jaf al yamama because supposedly according to the book the origins of an islamic state you know this little this little episode as far as uh in al Bahrain happened shortly after musa lima ibn habib got killed and that's and at the end of that chapter, as I mentioned before, they talked about how Khalid Ibn Al Walid was sent to Al Bahrain after the fact. So this is all in the court. But by the time he made it there to Al Aliyah Al Hadrami, they had already killed Al Hutim. So they ended up going to the other town that Al Mutter Ibn An Numan escaped to, which is Al Kat Al Katif. So when they went there, they killed him. Now, of course, in this book, like I say, in every single chapter, you always going to get different versions. Some people say that he went to another fort uh, called, um, I almost dropped my phone, Al-Mushakar, Al which is also in al Hasa, And it was really just a settlement with a seaport there. So if he went there and then he escaped or whatever, that means he probably uh, traveled to Qu Qatar, the little peninsula, which is 200 miles across the Persian Gulf. Another one says that he that he, when he got captured there. He agreed to leave. And when he left, that's when he went to Jaf al Yamama and then linked up with Musa Lima Ibn Habib. And he still and he still ended up getting killed. See, that don't make see that just don't see. Like I say, that part doesn't make sense in the first place because if Khalid Ibn if Khalid Ibn Al Walid was asked to go to Al Bahrain after Musa Lima Ibn Habib got defeated, there is no way, all right, that Al Mudher could have made it to Al Jaf and linked up with Musa Lima Ibn Habib. You get what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. So I I'll immediately oust that part as well. But he did ended up getting killed. Now going back to the Wikipedia article. When they were talking about the the, 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 the last major king of um, al Hirat, they did mention as far as his son trying to reestablish that fucking dynasty. And he only did it for like eight months until he got captured. That's the important fact. They mentioned that he did get captured there. Police is pulling up, y'all. So I might have to pause this and do another one. I'm doing all right. You all right? Yeah, I'm doing a, a real quick recording. I was trying to do it in isolation without no distraction. I didn't think it was going to be an issue over here. Are you recording like video or something real quick? Yeah. For the book? For the book? Yeah, for Facebook, social media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can all say right, that. Man. Well, look, I'm off to Robbins. I'm out here with you, man, because we got a call. We got somebody in the park out there. No, I understand. That's cool. where I'm coming from. Yeah, so, I, ain't, I ain't causing no trouble or nothing like that. I, was, I don't see you causing no trouble, but before I let you, you're going to have to leave, all right? All right, that's cool. But before I let you leave, man, I got you got some ID on you. I got a passport. Let me take a look at that. Thanks. What's your name? Johnny Fraction. Okay. What you like a rapper or something? Uh, I mean, nah. I mean, not in this sense. You nah, know, what I mean? from a musical standpoint, yeah, I do a little bit of it. You know, I ain't with no labels or no groups or nothing like that. But uh, 1835 Hovland, right down the street. You look familiar, man. I, don't, I mean, you probably seen my YouTube page or something. I don't know. Oh, man, I probably yeah. seen videos or some shit. Yeah, I was just doing a quick video of uh, this chapter that I created. I ain't really created, but it's a book that I was reading, and I was trying to go in chronological order. And, uh, you know, it's, it's basically about Islam, the history of Islam. Okay. And so, like, the different oases that they conquered and this and that. 
Like every time I read about a certain type of oasis, anything that I feel like is not in chronological order, I skipped and I told myself I was going to go back and create like one chapter specifically about that. So right now I'm talking about the Riddle Wars, okay. which is when these oasis started rebelling against Islam. And so like I had to go back to this region, Al Bahrain, to talk about what happened there because I already did a blog specifically as far as like when those people first converted. Uh -huh. So that's all I'm pretty much doing right okay. now. I'm so kind of gonna keep this video. I like this. History lesson. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm not Islamic myself. I'm just trying to learn. I learn, like history. Learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm an analytical brother. I think that's more important. Like you know, not labeling yourself until you understand the history behind. Heck yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, uh, it's your birthday? That. No, not yet. It's almost. All right, man. Hey. Um, Take your time, man, but eventually you got to get up out of here, all right? Hey, I got me a meal. good recording. I'm going to get a lot of views, man. All right, man. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Yeah, have a good night. You too. Yeah, yeah. Um, as y'all can see, I'm not using no notes. But, uh, man, I forget where I left off at. Uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you so anyway so basically um i believe that he did ended up getting killed in al Katif, <laughs> and that's pretty much it so when he got killed you know they pretty much um i ain't gonna say resettled the issue but 